up, fish tank people? Okay, so today is a great day. Every day is a great day, and you should be thankful for every day that you have on this beautiful earth. But today is an especially great day, and I will tell you why. Because typically I stay home and I let the people at the greenhouse get everything rolling and I do a bunch of quiet solos then I don't want to be interrupted please don't talk to me please don't call me let me drink my coffee and figure this out work but today I'm going into work early to greenhouse 2.0 I'm gonna put my seatbelt on and drive safely as I make this highly caffeinated video for you all cuz today we're gonna make something we're gonna make something fun alright what we're going to do today is we're going to expand. There's a saying that I like. It's German. It says, the best of riding on is their Angriff, which means the best defense is offense. And we're going on offense today, folks. We're going to bring it to you with no trivia. We like Quarian Plants straight from Bolivia. Get the Woo reference there. Yes, we are going to, first we're going to my boy Steve's house. We're going to get his massive trailer. You might remember this trailer because this trailer was left on the side of the road on our way to the Aquatic Experience two years ago in Duck, West Virginia. We're going to go grab that trailer. Only instead of hauling aquarium plants, we're going to haul pressure treated 6x6s. We're using pressure treated 6x6s because pressure treated 6x6s basically don't die. I've had them as the foundation of Greenhouse 1.0 forever. Um, you can stand on them, you can support aquariums on them. 6x6s are the jam. Uh, was debating about doing concrete back in the day. That ain't it. This gives me flexibility. So we're going to go get uh, 6x6s, 8 foot 6x6s. Unfortunately, due to the corona, there is no. Uh, there are very, very limited amount of uh, new shipments coming into Lowe's or whatever. So they've got like eight 6x6s. So I'm going to have to grab 16 foot 6x6s and cut them mofos. But uh, beyond all that, i got to get the pad set. Boy, I tell you, I love them 57s. Have my buddy Parker come and uh, work on some great work over the weekend. Uh, some people were asking me, like, dude, why don't you get like landfill or whatever and just say you want clean fill? All the dirt's taken in Nicholasville. All the dirt's taken in Jesmond County. There's like a bunch of construction sites. Anybody that's got dirt and knows where to throw fill dirt is already claiming it. Plus, time is money when it comes to mind taking in blood and the word nasty nice. And I don't have time to wait for somebody to give me something for free. Oh, by the way, you get what you pay for. So, I got to go out there. My man Mitch, who I bought the property from, is actually working on uh, today. He's going to take a skid steer out there. We're going to cover up them twos. going to put down some bitty sevens. And then we're going to try to make four basins because, oh, by the way, I have four uno, dos, stress, cuatro, eins, zwei, drei, vier imports coming in from four different countries. And it's growth season, baby. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm videotaping this because I think it's important to note just how cool it is to back up a minivan with a trailer. Backing up a trailer kind of sucked anyway. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing and your chicks for free. Who needs a morning run when you can lug eight foot long six by sixes? The enthusiasm I have for this project should not be under uh, underestimated. Super pumped. My guy Mitch, who I bought this property from, was gonna come out here and do this. He said, yo man, once you get another load of 57s out here, we'll clean this up nice. He also complimented me on how he likes my style with the greenhouse. And then said he won't be able to do it until later today. So I was supposed to be working on this today, but uh, we're just going to kind of get this pad squared up. But I am going to load these here uh, pieces of wood out the way over here. And can I give you yet another reason why I love this new location here at 2.0? I am uh, I'm working on this. I decided to roll over there. Our friends at Jenkins is Orange. Jenkins and Orange. They're like the excavators here in town. They're, uh, they're rolling. And I hit them up and I was like, hey, what are you doing with all that fill? Uh, shout outs to the dude who suggested this on my YouTube video and then sent me some long novel email. There's the rub. They're uh, bringing it all in here like this. And I paid for the 57s. But then he's dumping it over here. Which is really, really a satisfying thing to watch, by the way, because it's free. So he's dumping this down in here. And he's ripping up a whole parking lot. So even Ryan's excited. <laughs> Thank you. 
Got a lot done today. Super pumped. Guys across the way. We're ripping out a parking lot. So I scored some free dirt, some free fill. And I got this pad right here. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. I only wanted to walk on 57s. That's basically gonna be the case up on here. And then this came all the way over here unexpectedly today. We started off the day about here, but then thanks to all this fill, we were able to stretch it on out and get it rolling. So that worked out well, almost right to the drain right there. So I'd obviously have to redo that drain to get it going, but boom, it's time for these. It's time to get it going. This is fun, I'm waiting for this. We moved in this time last year, so it feels pretty good to be uh, starting. We're gonna be starting something. Expanding again. Yeah, dude, getting going. So, prepping for the future. Okay, so it's Sunday, it's Species Sunday, and I do have a couple of uh, plants to show you here in a bit. But first, I gotta show you how we're looking outside here with uh, the four basins. I ordered my first from our friends at Aquascape, Mr. Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. I got a uh, 100 foot by 25 foot pond liner being delivered. You can cut that in half and you can make uh, eight. With that half, you can make eight 12 by 12 and a half, 12 and a half by 12 and a half uh, squares to go for these. This is the joy right here. Uh, perfectly timed too because the import is coming and then we'll have outside full sun this is the leftover uh liner right here on this one then the next ones will be cut to form but even though they're not perfectly level that's okay with us because we can just overflow it out the back so i'm excited about that here's some fun numbers for you ready for this this goes eight foot plus a half uh, eight, foot, eight foot plus a half, if you're measuring these. The inside of these, for easy numbers, call it seven times seven is 49. Add a foot because it's actually seven and a half. Talking 50 square feet of planting going on in there. All Sag, all Val, all Red Tiger Lotus, all Wisteria, all Elodia, all Deformis, you name it, like Hygrophil Deformis, you name it. We're gonna have it going on. And here's the really fun part. I've got four. They're all done, by the way, in the feng shui way. Pretty much in line right there, uh, two foot off. And then this will be entirely out of the way of Greenhouse 2.2, as we've been calling it. Super jacked about that. And then you could still bring a truck down here and load up more over here. And I've got room for one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And then we're rolling. Got enough wood on site too, by the way, to make four. So by the end of next week, we should have eight, eight foot by eight foot basins rolling out here, growing the heck out of some plants. Oh, and I wanna point out the construction of how this was done. I didn't really elaborate on that. Last year, we didn't use rebar. This year, we are using rebar and we uh, cut them off here. So this is actually uh, 3 8 rebar. I think it was like a uh, two foot long piece, it was like a buck 80, and then we cut them. So we've got one here and then 28 inches in there and then a little gap here and then one here and one here. And that worked out pretty well. We had to use the drill to drill through all of these. Uh, and it took our sweet time because pressure treated lumber is no joke. But that's kind of how that went down. A lot of drill and then we got a little no man's land too we can actually we're gonna make some drains that'll kind of pop these off into there so it's fun times let's show you some plants but it's sunday it's species sunday got all that stuff built just in time for this bad boy pogo stamon helferi kids on the street in thailand call it downy plant downy stands for uh, little star if dr seuss was making an aquarium this would be one of the plants in it I have not kept this a long time. I know snails get ferocious on it and tear it apart uh, from when I had it in the past. These things came in actually pretty well rooted. I'm excited about it. They say they have a lower pH. I'm not buying that because they seem to be holding up so far so good in here. Uh, short little growing uh, foreground plant from the edge of Thailand and Burma. 
super stoked about this plant. Uh, yeah, if anybody's keeping it, I'd love to hear uh, your comments on it. Because we do run a uh, pH of seven in here. I'm curious if anybody's tested that. Got some pinnative feed. I actually a little bum. This came in above water grown. It's still uh, pretty hot. And then this is Barclaya longifolia. Gary don't carry. I'll link the links. I'll link the uh, old video up in the bottom. He has a Barclaya that's as big as this greenhouse in his basement. So super stoked about that. But yeah, we're having a lot of fun. Some nice little barteri in here as well. How about them apples? Have a great week, everybody. Tank on.